Croesus was a rich king in ancient Lydia, who was quite enamored with his own wealth. His wealth was so great that the proverb as rich as Croesus came into being. Considering how much Solon had traveled and how many people he had met, the king demanded to know. Who is the happiest man you have seen? He expected Solon to name him as the happiest man he had come to know. So he was quite surprised when Solon mentioned an unknown man by the name of Tellus. Solon explained. Tellus was the happiest man he had ever known because he lived in a well-governed country, had virtuous sons who all had children that survived the perilous early years of childhood and eventually died valiantly in battle. He had patiently listened to Solon relate the history of Tellus. He then demanded to know who the second happiest man was that Solon had met, hoping that Solon would now finally name Croesus. But Solon disappointed him again by naming Cleobis and Bitten, two arch of youths who had died in the prime of life, after performing a remarkable feat worthy of remembrance. This enraged him. He demanded to know why Solon thought him less happy than those ordinary men. Solon explained. While a man was still alive, he was subject to the fickleness of the gods and suffered both good and bad luck. As such, I can't possibly determine if you were truly happy until I knew whether or not the monarch had ended his life happily, as did the Tellus and Cleobis and Bitten. Being wealthy is no guarantee for happiness. Instead, only the man who enjoyed good fortune for much of his life and died in a tranquil or honorable manner can truly be said to have been happy. He believed Solon was an ignorant man and dismissed him. Yet, the truth of Solon's words were soon demonstrated when Croesus started to suffer misfortune. The best of his two sons died in an accident. He defeated by the Persians under Cyrus the Great, his kingdom was taken from him and made a part of the Persian Empire. This story is quoted from the book, Histories by Herodotus, which is considered the founding work of history in Western literature. That's right. Real happiness is fickle. So don't ever forget that, count no man happy until he be dead.